Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome if you've been here before. Welcome back. My name is Ashley, I'm a makeup enthusiast. If you're kids, I have kids and they make noise. If you hear traffic, I live by road and there's traffic. Let's hop into this testing makeup I bought during the Sephora haul. Okay, so we're gonna test some new makeup. Some of this I got at this for all, some of it I did not. So let's just start doing it and applying it to my face. Um, my kids are being quiet right now because they're sleeping, they're napping. They're actually taking a nap and we're happy about it. I have my knees here, so they're still kids. You're gonna probably hear. I was a, I was a little afraid. Um, so I picked up the Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer. And I picked up the mini size and I seen a lot of reviews saying that it was like it did nothing, it was dried out. I'm not finding either of those to be particularly true. Now I did pick up this is not from the Sephora sale, but I did pick up all the new Farsali products and I want to try their unicorn essence because I used to love this. And their Liquid Glass is one of my favorite of all time products. I'm really hoping they reformulate and revamp that and bring it back better than ever. But we will see. Do you guys remember when they used to like Instagram? If you are from the days of Instagram, when influencers would like do the little droplets and like let it smear down their face. And we all want it to be those influencers. Do we remember that? Was it just me thing? Probably. First of all, we had some of my favorite products. Well, they had some hit and misses. I'm excited to try their Skin Tune Blur again because I did like the old formulation. I just felt like it was so hard to get out of the dropper. And they supposedly fixed that problem. So I'll have to keep you updated. I am going to test these products. And I have the, you can't see it, but it's back there. The um, Rose, Gold, Rose Gold Elixir. So I will test them. I will update you. Do I think that they are better? Do I think they're not better? So far... This still has a tack. It smells good, but like an like a earthy good. It's not like a fragrance good. Okay. There's more skin prep than I normally do. Oh my gosh, I have a cat hair. Or like a hair. I have a hair on my face. I don't know. I don't know if I've used this on camera, but I have used this in person and I like it. A lot. This looks a little scary. I was a little scared when I first got this because I was like, oh my gosh, this is not my color. How dark did I think I was? But it is my color. It doesn't look like it right now. Just hold on. Now, I do feel like this product settles so it's gonna look really orangey really dark right now and then give it some time and it kind of like settles and sinks into my skin i seen there were some claims which is why i actually picked up the tart that the little beads settled in like your pores i have not found that to be the case I've used 
this multiple times. And I don't have the biggest pores, but my pores are visible. Like, I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody's pores is visible, but like, I don't have the biggest pores, but I don't find that to be an issue. So I find that it doesn't sink in anywhere, that it's not supposed to sink in. Um, and it does look really natural. It does settle, like it looks a little like crazy, like wham, bam, oh my gosh, that's not her color. However, like I said, it does settle, like. It will settle in. And it, you still can see my imperfections. By no means is my face covered, but it does even things out. And it looks like the most natural makeup you'll ever have on. Like I actually had people thinking that I wasn't wearing makeup when I was like, no, I'm wearing makeup. They're like, oh my gosh, you can just throw on an eye look and not have any makeup on. And I was like, babes, I got makeup on. <laughs> So I'm going to go with the Dior Backstage Concealer. I've also been loving this. I was a little like, oh my gosh, look, it has a like brush applicator. And then I was a little standoffish on the fact that I had a brush applicator because I was like, well, if it has a brush applicator, like I don't use a brush applicator. Like how is that going to be handy? But I actually kind of enjoy this. Now, this isn't going to give you, like, the most coverage at all. It's going to be sheer coverage, which is perfect for today's look. <laughs> I've been enjoying allowing my face to just breathe, my skin to show through, shine, and just do what it does. And see, these two products just go so nicely together. Like, the concealer isn't too much where it overbears the fact that, like, my skin looks like I don't have anything on it. And the cons the foundation, I don't even know if you would call it a foundation, this tinted serum. This tinted serum just allows everything to just, it, it's very agreeable. It agrees with a lot of products. I've worn it with more heavy makeup. I've worn it with lighter weight makeup. It's just a very agreeable formulation. I mean, it does look a little offset when I wear it with heavier things, like heavier products. It does look a little offset because it's with a heavier product, but it doesn't look like it's not hard to work with if that makes sense like there are those products where like you can't you either have to go all light weight or you have to go all heavy you can't like mix and match this one kind of is a little bit more agreeable because it evens you out it just looks like you might have like added some makeup in some areas that might have needed it versus like oh my gosh she's a cake face right now you know does that make any sense to what i'm trying to say <laughs> but like, can you see that like there's a hair over here and it's driving me nuts I don't know if you'll be able to see that I'm going to put my lip pumper on I've been enjoying doing that it's helping me to get through the product I put this on You can get this at Sephora. This is the Dior Lip Maximizer Hyaluronic Lip Pumper in the shade Beige um, 013. You can get it at Sephora. I've been, I put it in my project pan and I'm trying to work my way through it. 
and this has been helping me work my way through because I put it on while I'm doing my makeup and then I will wipe it off and throw a lip on because I don't like this over things and I'm not even really the biggest fan of it on its own so there's that um I'm trying to think like what blush do I want to use because I didn't really pick up a blush per se but I did pick up a highlighter that I want to use I actually picked up a couple I picked up like the blush lighter but I don't know if that's gonna it's not gonna go with the highlight that I want to use today so I'm gonna actually go in with something from M Cosmetics this is M Cosmetics so soft Venetian rose cream blush And I'm just going to And for the eyes, I'm going to keep it super simple today Because I'm going to be filming a couple other videos I like that M Cosmetics product with this rosy product it just goes so beautifully together okay so i'm going to bust into my charlotte tilbury wand in the shade medium oh my gosh i feel like the first one of these that i ever bought i feel like it had so much more product than the newer ones see like i pushed this up I can't there's like barely anything so I bought the medium to deep shade I'm pretty sure it was last sale because it came in stock. No, it was not. It was something on Sephora. It was something on Charlotte. Her. It was something on Charlotte's website itself, and there was like a bundle deal, and I could pick like light to medium, and she had both of them in stock. And I stupidly was like, well, let me try light, medium to deep because light to medium. I did feel like it was a little too light when I'm at my deepest, but. And then I went with medium deep and I can make medium to deep work. It is for medium skin tones. However, I just prefer the way that the like, uh, light to medium looked on my skin. So there's that. I want a little bit more definition. So I'm going to go in with this. Um, M Cosmetics so soft bronzer and a tear and I find that the I find that that tear shade is supposed to be a bronzer but it looks more like a blush who is that okay and the kids are up and the noise is happening So I'm going to go in with my Westman Atelier. This is their, one of the shades that you can get at Sephora. I did post a video by this point of another Westman Atelier uh, highlighter -y thingy that, these are little hair follicles, they're, they're little hair follicles. Anyways, um, on their website but I'm gonna go in with this and I'm just going to go in with my finger
feel like that is just such a beautiful color. Um, I'm trying to think what powder I'm going to use. For under the eyes, I think I am going to go with my She Won't She powder. didn't get this during the sale, but this is the Charlotte Tilbury Micro Precise Tinted Brow Gel. But you can get this up before. Lately, normally I do my brows at the very end, but lately I've been enjoying doing it first. And then going in and doing like the eyes. And I only got two palettes during the sale. I got like five. I've gotten five palettes during the Sephora sale. Um, three, Char uh, three Tom Ford and two Patrick Ta. But I think I'm going to go in with my the Patrick Ta Major Dimensions, the first one. And I'm going to use some of these brown tones. Okay, so if you want to see the eye look, there will be a video coming. But I wanted to try these refi. Um, I don't know if I want to do fawn or rosewood. I'm not sure if I want to do fawn or rosewood. Sometimes the bad thing about doing it in front of the camera is like I don't have anyone to be like, I think you should do this color. I'm feeling fawn. I'm feeling fawn. So we're going to go with fawn. Yeah, I think rosewood pulls a little too much pink, and I do have the blues and stuff in my look, so we're going to go with the neutrally shade. So this is a shade Fawn. This is supposed to be revised, like, liquid lipstick. My only gripe with this is, like, if I use this and I make this blush, is there, there's no sharpener to this. So... is that you can't like sharpen it that's the only thing that like kind of is that's it's frustrating because like how i supposed to get it oh, this shows you everything you did not blend feeling to it. I feel like too much comes off on the applicator too, so you gotta kind of like wipe it off. But we're about to see, we're about to see. It sticks to dry patches and accentuates them. But it is drying down. I don't know if I would say it's budge proof because I was able to wipe it off the other day. 
but it's pretty, pretty, pretty much proof. So here is the finished look. I'm not going to throw the gloss on right now. I will update you in a future video. Things are going crazy and I shall catch you in the next one. I hope you have a blessed one. If you are not already, please consider hitting that subscribe button and the bell notification so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video because I upload a new video three times a week on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And I love for you to share my little family. And I shall see you later.